Sebretta Banerjee. Thank you, sir. Sir, uh, there is no denying of the fact that inland waterways is a very important mode of transport. And the international examples of Duisburg in Germany and Nanjing in People's Republic of China, which are competing with seaports, testifies that fact. Now, sir, uh, 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 few things that I want to, few concerns which are there uh, regarding this National Waterway Bill. There's 101 identified inland waterways the government has identified. Now, estimated investment of rupees 35,000 crores over the next two years are necessary. The, in, uh, the IWAI uh, had said categorically, I heard in a press conference, that market borrowings and multilateral agencies to fund inland waterways, that will be there. Now, uh, the IWAI chairman also said, I heard, that domestic and foreign financial institutions have been identified. I just want to know that which are these institutions which have already been identified who are eager to uh, invest in this 101 inland waterways. Now, I believe that the IWAI organizational, organizational setup is not at all sufficient to take up this, undertake this entire task. And as I come from Bengal, sir, there is an example, the CIWTC. Uh, it was an organization, Central Inland Water Transport Corporation. 350 staff were there. It's a government organization. Forced VRS was there. 345 people were forced to take VRS. Now this CIWTC, CIWTC had 106 barges, sir. 106 barges were there. Majority of them have been sold. We, we are coming to know. Now we want to know, the Honorable Minister is here, who are the people who these, many of the barges were in good condition. So which people have actually bought these things. Now in Assam and West Bengal, the CIWTC had huge stretches of land. It has huge stretches of land. Now what will happen to this land? Because already reports are there that uh, private players and land sharks are targeting these huge stretches of land. Now as far as these 101 proposed waterways are concerned, now, this technical question of technical feasibility, sir, no sufficient water level at various rivers. As I come from Bengal, I will specify, because I, uh, in this proposed bill, uh, it is mentioned that National Waterway 7, that is Ojoy, Ojoy River. National Waterway 13, that is Bakpreshwar and Mayurakshi River. National Waterway 28, that is Damodar River. National Waterway 34, that is Darokeshwar River. Our experience, Honorable Minister, must be answering this. In the rivers which I am mentioning, these are, have become non-perennial rivers. Even during rainy season, there are no water in the rivers. Anybody can go and see in Ajay or in this Mayurakshi or Bakreshwar in Damodar. For the entire, even in the rainy season, people are going, bike races are taking place in the vast stretches in between Birbhum and Bardhavan. So I am unable to understand how have these rivers been identified. Sundarbans, it is okay. In the standing committee itself, we have categorically said that the Sundarban river needs to be taken up because that is very important and the entire people, uh, 201 kilometer have been identified for Sundarban uh, waterways. I welcome that. That is a very good initiative. But as far as these uh, rivers in the western part of the state are concerned, I am unable to understand how these rivers are taken up. There are no water in, in for the entire stretch. Now, as far as Kerala is concerned, the Kerala government has already given some objections. National Waterway 23, because 20 kilometer stretch of this National Waterway 23, that is uh, backwater, that is fine. But drinking water to Calicut is supplied from this, from this river. Now, as far as National Waterway 46 is concerned, this National Waterway 46, the lower part 20 kilometer is backwater, but 30 kilometer upper portion is used for drinking and irrigation purposes. These are concerns. And uh, National Waterway 70, this also the lower stretch is used for, uh, the backwater is there, but the huge stretch is there which supplies drinking water to Kochi. So these things needs to be, uh, this concern needs to be addressed. Now the existing five waterways are not operating basically in a proper way. Priority along with this 101 new proposed waterways, priority needs to be given to them. Consultation with the state governments are very necessary and as far as this dredging thing is concerned, the dredging corporation of India, I feel not sufficient support is there. So this uh, issue of dredging, because these five national existing waterways, particularly in Calcutta in the river Rhine areas, this dredging problem is a very huge problem. Now, uh, uh, oh, one minute is left more. So, uh, this uh, dredging problem is a huge problem. This involvement of states is necessary. The proper consultation of the states, because as the many state governments have some objections, 
and it is a good move that uh, about the Sundarban thing, the government have incorporated the rivers, the huge stretch that is very necessary. And last of all, the point I want to make that this is a, this is a, many honorable members have pointed out, yes, it is 47% of uh, uh, transportation in People's Republic of China is done through this, European Union is doing it, and even in Bangladesh, 35% of the freight carriage is done. Sir, if you look at undivided Bengal, our old history, from Daroka on the western side to Tamrolipto in the eastern side, and the entire things that started, Chath, uh, in Bengali folklore, there is a reference of Chath Shadagar. Sir, I will take a half a minute, you please allow me. Uh, the reference of their, uh, the Chath Shadagar is there, this, uh, the, imp, uh, uh, the business which was carried on. And in fact, we have in Orissa, the river Rhine things coming up to the shore and then going for Bali Jatra. All these examples are there in our folklore. Indigenous things were developed from time immemorial. I will just request upon the honorable minister and the government that these uh, waterways, which are Thank these national much. waterways, must not be the profit maximization water bodies of foreign and domestic capital. Thank you, sir.